So we're making a, a crossbow right now, and the way this would work is you'd put it, you'd set it on a game trail, and it's going to be tripped by a wire. So it would get things like, could get humans, wild boar, anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and use the, the bow that we, were, that we were using before. Okay, there's the bow from the bow and arrow right there. And then we're going to connect that. We notched out, put a notch in, in some bamboo, and we're going to connect that bow there. And for example, say there's a game trail there. It trips off, hits the animal, and then you would have to track that animal later by its blood. Um, but you know it's going to die. So again, we're setting this, this one up right now. So he's going to go ahead and slip the bow in there and then lash it down. And then we'll set it. So now we're getting uh, small bamboo for the arrows that can be used in the crossbow. And as you can see, there's some very small bamboo that's growing back in this area. So we just laid in the, the uh, camouflage for the crossbow and you can get that any, any, you could use anything but we use this palm, the fishtail palm and as you can see there's, this is the front of the trap right here. It's camouflage, trying to camouflage all the way around just simply poking it in to the ground. And there's the bow from the bow and arrow. and. Again, there's the whole crossbow, and what we're going to do, this is the trigger. Trigger is just a piece of vine with wood right there. And we're going to put an arrow in there and pull this back. And again, this would be placed on a game trail. So you know the, a human, you're trying to kill, trying to kill an animal, you know they're coming up a certain trail and they're gonna trigger that and when they hit a trigger boom this arrow goes flying into them and kills them so show me how this this trap's gonna work okay, sir. Like this, huh? for example this is the uh, trail the game trail yes sir yeah and this is the uh, tripping line tripping okay. line just a piece of vine ah uh, yes sir this is what we call uh, vine right and put Maybe uh, five pieces or uh, ten pieces of what? Of this tripping line. Okay. So that easy to touch. Right. Yes, sir. Then when the uh, other uh, or the animal touch this, the arrow just goes right, yes, right sir. into the animal. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now to set this. Uh, to set it. Like this, yeah. Okay. Now to set this uh, crossbow, sir. This is the uh, trigger, and this is the uh, ring lock. Okay. Ring lock, huh? Now, put like this, and the ring lock here, ring lock, and put the arrow here, hmm. like this. And put another one on the other side. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's pretty nasty. Okay. Now the tripping line, sir. Huh? Once the uh, tripping line taps. Yeah. Let me. Uh... Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, ready. Whoa! Fire away, huh? Yes, sir. That's pretty neat. <laughs> so it's pretty effective. You have to have a bigger animal. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, one, for a uh, for a. Uh, a wild boar would yes, it be sir. a little lower or a little oh. or that size? Yeah. If we were here and that's the game trail, you'd have to lower it a bit, yes, sir. right? Yeah, this one. So you this just is, simply bring it down. Yeah, yes, sir. This is adjustable. Yeah. If it were a human, you'd bring it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yes, sir. Or here. Wow. So the biggest animals you have here in the forest 
in yeah, deer. Deer? There's yeah. deer around here? Yeah. So wild boar. wild boar. So for deer, would that be about the right height or would you Oh just a little bit sir. A little lower? Yeah. And for wild boar a little bit lower. Yeah. Wow. Very, very effective. And again, uh, can so basically you just yeah, there's your trip line coming out there. You can see the trip line is right. Let's wiggle that. Wiggle that. Yeah, you can see the trip line as it comes out there and it's attached to something over there. So it comes in here, they trip it, and then. Wow. Pretty crude but nasty primitive weapon. Go ahead and make an arrow. So just. Do a simple cut on one side, right? Sharpen it up. There you go. Or a small bamboo. And that's, that'll cut the crap out of you. Look at that. Very, very, very sharp. Okay. And then the back part, just a simple cut here. Is that right? Yes, sir. Show me the cut back here so I can see. Okay. Like this. One, and then turn it over, do the same thing. That's it. Yes, sir. Very easy. Okay. <laughs> and then the uh, leaf, sir. The leaf, which okay. will act as the feather. Yes, sir. I will put here. I will put here. In the leaves. Uh, just break. He's batoning the bamboo in the middle, splitting it a bit. You're going to use one of these leaves, is that right? Yes, sir. About that size or the bigger one? In this one, Okay. So basically you're reversing the the normal plane of the leaf. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Okay. And there it goes. Pop it right in there. Center it a bit. So with the uh, crossbow here, this one's about a six foot bow. But if you made it maybe nine feet long and you put ten arrows on it, like one, two, three, four, five, and then another one, two, three, four, five over here and those could all fire at the same time. So again, when that vine right here is tripped, not just one arrow would uh, come in, but you'd have 10 arrows, and you got a, a lot better chance of hitting your target with 10 than one. So a really crude weapon, but I think could be highly effective in the right area if planted.